What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Enter the Gungeon with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony and this is Enter the Gungeon. We are on to a convict run. Once again, not taking the shortcut. Not going to explain why. Because you can go back to the last video if you want to hear that. Starting out in Chamber 1, Keep of the Lead Lord. Unfortunately, just... I, I, it'd be nice if like there was a little bit of a buff to taking the shortcut. If the shortcut guy was like, here, uh, take this random gun with you when you go down. You're going to need it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Something along those lines just to give you like a chance at surviving if you take the shortcut. Just to make it a little bit more of a viable strategy. Because I don't, for the videos, I guess it makes sense to just play from the beginning. But for other people... You know, not everybody has time to go through the whole thing again. I don't know. I, I really have no idea. <laughs> you know. It's a weird part of an otherwise amazing game. And it's not that it's not even a good feature. It's just that it seems like a useless feature. If you're going to add in something like that, something that complex, why not at least make it usable? Maybe I'm missing something important here that makes it a more viable strategy. Didn't want to have to use that blank this early on, but the ghost gave me no choice. Those guys are tough, especially when they get you cornered against some other some other enemies too. Like these slimes, for example, in a relatively small portion of a room. Uh, confusing. I don't know what just happened. Please describe that to me. I came in here. There were no enemies, no nothing. This barrel has exploded. Did those enemies accidentally set off their barrel? Weird. Move on, though. With a mystery that may never be solved. Well, let's move on from a mystery that may never be solved. Do we want to use our sawed off? Yeah, it gives us a chance of finding a secret room, and it's not its not as slow as, like, the crossbow is, so... I'd say it's its probably a little bit better than the crossbow. Especially because the spread of the shots means that you can still hit. Like, you, you don't have to miss a shot in order to find a secret room with it. We have a heart, which we don't even need yet. Some sort of mermaid gun. The Siren Mer Shotgun. Prevents goop effects. I don't know what goop effects are, but the siren's watery blast can be a lifesaver saver when faced with toxic pools or patches of flames. I guess goop effects are the uh, flames and poison. I did not know that they were collectively known as goop effects, but I do now. Let's check for secret rooms in our uh, item room. I always feel like they have a higher chance of spawning there. I've mentioned it before. I have no idea if that's actually the case, but it seems like it. <clears throat> We're going to check out our, uh, siren. I think it'll be more useful against enemies that actually have status effects. It seems pretty good, though. I like it. It shoots so fast, too. It's pretty awesome. Gonna save that for our boss fight and keep using our sawed-off shotgun. Don't see any secret rooms available in here, so we'll, we'll move on. Got a... We'll teleport back to this room and take the other two pads off of it because it looks like we've explored everything there is to explore up above. Okay. Uh, let's use our sawed off. I meant to use the sawed off and I accidentally switched to the budget revolver, which isn't a. It's, it's uh, honestly not that much worse than the than the sawed off, and it does have unlimited ammo, but. Once again, this gives us a chance to get some secret rooms, so I, I don't mind using it. And I don't feel like I'm wasting it because it's just so marginally better than the budget revolver. A lot of keys on sale here. We have 50 money, which is a lot for this point in the game. We could buy a Winchester, but I think we're good on guns for now. We're good on health, obviously. Yeah, I think we're fine. We might come back and uh, buy a key if we need one for our other chest if it's a brown chest we won't if we don't find a key and it's a better chest then we will you know the drill
There is a slime here, but he hasn't been as much of a problem as they usually are for me. That's nice. I really wish I could have taken out like more than one at a time there. But, you know, with the spread of the shotgun. A blue chest, is that worth a key? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna open it if I find one. Gotta use my Molotov. I always forget that I have it. And I gotta not forget that I have it. Accidentally shot there. Um, probably one or two more rooms in which to potentially find a key. I haven't gotten hurt yet, so I have a good chance of finding stuff. There's no enemies in here though, so no luck there. No keys. I'm not even going to bother opening the secret room. I could do it for free with that barrel or spend a little bit of mer shotgun ammo on it. Let's buy the key and go on up. They're all the same price, despite this one being showcased a little bit more. He says it's an excellent choice. I have a tendency to agree. What do we got? Some sort of ring, which means passive effect, which is good. Loranthi ring, dodge power up. What does it do? Have we had it before? I don't know. Improves dodging. This ancient ring spins slowly about its axis even when worn. It is of unknown origin. When it says about its axis, does that mean it spins around like... Like it, it spins around your finger? Or does that mean it's like... I can't describe this. Um, spinning like on its base right here, the way it's standing, and it's just kind of like moving through your finger? I don't know. I also didn't describe that very well, but hopefully you got what I meant. We're gonna switch to our siren before we go in here. And we're gonna we're gonna just do a fantastic job. We're gonna pop a Molotov off on this Gatling gull here. Gotta get the uh, stuff out of the way. Okay, I, I wanna get a flawless victory. I want that bonus health for the second floor. I want to ruin or I wanna get I wanna end this poor streak I've had against the Gatling Gull. I don't wanna put out my own Molotov, but I do wanna just kill him. I'm gonna keep shooting him. Can I get him to walk through that before it goes out? I don't think so. I've gotten hit twice too, but there's a lot of health. No, there's just there's just half a heart lying around on the floor, I believe. The Molotov we might get a second use out of in this boss fight. But we're also doing okay just chipping away his health with the siren here. Oh, I'm out of blanks? Oh yeah, I used one. I used one to get rid of to get out of that hairy situation with the ghost and the slime. I thought I had another one and I almost took damage trying to use it and then I ended up taking damage right after anyway. Didn't even get a chance to recharge our Molotov all the way, but we did kill the Gatling Gull. We'll be able to fill up our health all the way as well. The Elder Blank probably... Probably better than our Molotov, though I guess I don't know that for sure. At the very least we're going to take it because we earned it. Gonna teleport back, get this half heart. And, uh, go on back to our bus fight. Maybe scare off the rat. He, uh, he didn't let us scare him off. He did leave a note. We saw it happen. That was, that was the latest we've ever, like, run in on him. And that was a little bit weird. Okay, we're gonna move on. We never found our secret room. That's gonna be fine. Let's, uh, check out... When we get down to the second floor, we're gonna check out and see if the television is on the ground. And if that's always what he leaves. Or if maybe he leaves a couple of different items. Maybe three or four different aesthetic, like aesthetically different items with the same effect. No, it's just always the television. I really hope we can pick up our uh, Elder Blank. I like using this, it's fun. That's why I picked it up to begin with. But it looks like it's like dangerous to pick things up because there might be a chance that our uh, item goes down in that hole there. And we'd lose it forever. And if it's a good item, we don't want to lose it forever. Generally speaking, you don't want to lose good things forever. Unless it's to get something better. Okay, I hate these guys. And this is not a good item to use. Uh, not, a good, not a good gun to use to take them out. That was, though. That worked out a lot better. I'm gonna hide from him, take out the other guy, and then shoot him. Oh, I'm reloading. He's gonna shoot. That gives us an opportunity to do this. We're good. Yeah, we got through that. Switch back to our sawed off. 
It's probably dangerous to go around with our sawed off. Ah, be oh. Because uh, if we encounter any. Wow. Wow, wow. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die all at once in a single room. That was really bad. That red bullet guy was crazy. He was like an advanced version of the bullet, of the purple bullet guy. He killed me. Uh, do we want to do a quick quick restart? You know what? I don't. I don't want to do a quick restart. I'm not ending the video. Don't, don't, don't get mad. I'm going to take the shortcut. That's, to me, the best opportunity to use a shortcut is when I've died slightly after the 10 minute point in the video. This guy says, you're here. Thanks for your help with the elevator. I'm excited to see if it works. Let's test it out. Use the floor panels to select the elevator, then step in. We've used it before. I, what do you mean, test it out? Oh, I have enough to buy something from the uh, acquisitions department as well. So that's what we'll do at the when, when I die here. Hopefully, that doesn't happen immediately. I should have just used my siren. That gun was awesome, and I, I squandered my chances by not using it. It was stupid, but it happened, and that, that's it. Okay, without these guys being stuck on those distant platforms, I can actually take them out pretty pretty easily with the uh, thought off. This guy and his weird little dodges. I was worried he was going to run into me with that. Okay, the, the, the sawed-off actually took him out in two, two shots. With the siren, I could have taken this pile of flames out. Now I actually just have to wait here. I guess I might as well look for secret rooms, right? Okay, it's like the flames are gone. Okay. No secret rooms that I found. Remember to use the Molotov. It actually worked. I think I took out that summoner with the, with the Molotov there. I thought I missed it first. Which is why I sound surprised. Unfortunately, the Molotov did reduce the area in which I could dodge, thereby kind of assisting me in the process of taking damage. Not causing me to take damage directly anyway, but indirectly kind of did me dirty, caused me some damage. Okay, this is tough. I, I mentioned not too long ago, I think in the... No, it was... Probably in yesterday's episode, that two boxes, two boxes make the game tough. One box, usually not, but you know, even I can, uh, especially I can mess up something that should be easy. Another cardboard box, just take him out before he shoots. Ah, I'm doing real bad. I might do another. Uh, you know what? I just accidentally used a blank. Quick restart, yes. Does that take me down to the second floor, or will that put me on the first floor? I don't know. If it puts me on the first floor, then it doesn't. I'm just not feeling too good about this. Let's let's go. Let's step up our dodge game. That, that's, that's the first thing. We're doing a bad job dodging. We need to do a good job dodging. That's how you win the game. You do a good job dodging. And you damage them. Uh, this is the kind of advice that you normally have to pay for, but you're getting it for free, and I hope you appreciate it. Do a good job dodging, damage things. The ultimate guide to enter the gungeon. Oh, way to hide behind my own table. And then make me break my table. Boxes! Cardboard boxes have never been so difficult to fight in any game, except for maybe, uh... From the perspective of enemies in like the Metal Gear Solid games? Hmm. Flip a table. You know what? Item I absolutely love and would would like to get. Because I, I think it's probably more funny than actually useful, but also pretty useful in certain situations. To answer that question, which I briefly paused after asking. Uh, table tech rockets. I forgot that I should switch off of the budget revolver and use the shotgun. So I'm gonna pretty much waste all of my ammo trying to find a secret room and then pick up this ammo box. It's not a waste because I wouldn't have gotten, I wouldn't have been able to pick up the ammo box anyway, thanks to that awful rat guy. That was dumb. 
I already have the achievement for pushing a table into a pit. And then I just fell into a pit trying to do it again. Yeah, use the Molotov. It's it's a great item, and I just always forget about it. I this, I'm I'm not trying to I'm not trying to pass off my poor play onto the game. Here, I know I've done a terrible job in this run and this whole video really, but I don't really like playing as the convict very much. So, you know, that's something. It, everything that's gone wrong in this video has been my own fault. Except for, like, that red bullet guy was a little too hard. Like, yeah, he deserved to hit me two or three of those times because of my bad play, but, like, he hit me probably four or five times. That was awful. That was just a negative experience all around. I wish I had a Molotov with which to uh, damage this lead maiden a little faster. <clears throat> I've gotten better at dodging these shots. Still bad at dealing damage to him and stuff like that. It takes a while. Merchant. Oh, there's still shots flying around. I thought those were all gone. Merchant right here. Maybe... No, we're not going to be able to afford anything, obviously. We've only got 11 money. What's this? Rocket-powered bullets. That sounds awesome. I think we've seen it before, actually. We might have gotten it for free out of a chest. Well, for a key out of a chest. Not exactly free, but not 78 money. That's yet another uh, detriment to taking the shortcut is a lack of currency with which to buy any anything. A hiccup. Hopefully that stops. Okay, I think they're gone. Just like a one-off hiccup. There's a lead maiden in here. Fantastic. If, if you can't tell, I really love fighting lead maidens. They're, they're not like a huge waste of time and effort or anything. Got one... One shot left to survive, so I might be cutting this episode a little short. Cause it, should I should I restart again? I don't know. On the one hand, it's really short, and I've been playing terribly. On the other hand, I've been playing terribly. Why would I keep playing? I'm going to keep playing, but first I'm going to go to the acquisitions department and buy hot lead. I was deciding between that and the RPG. Hot lead is good enough for me. Achievement progress, patron, 27 out of 100. I wonder if they only sell 100 things or if that's just the the, the achievement. If there are only ever going to be 100 items up for sale there. This is going to be an extra long episode unless I royally screw up this run. Maybe... If this goes really well here, I will put an annotation in at the beginning of the video to skip forward to this point in the video. Can you do that? Can you put timestamps in, in annotations to skip forward? If this sets up being like super long, I'll do that and start it up when I'm on my way to the acquisitions department there. So you'll hear this whole speech that I'm giving right now too. And uh, that way you can skip over the bad part of the video where I just fail miserably for several runs. Like, literally put three runs into 17 minutes. Granted, two of them started with the shortcut. I don't think that plan of... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Subsidizing. Subsidizing short runs with shortcut runs is gonna work because shortcut runs are super short because I am not good enough to survive the second floor with first floor weapon and first floor currency starting amount of zero I got hit I meant to use the blank and then I didn't but luckily I didn't use it after getting hit like I sometimes do but I still have a second one that I'll be able to use I'm gonna take out this shotgun person I did it and now I'm taking out these slimes much more easily than if I still had shotgun blasts, blasts to dodge. Blasts. That's hard to say. Really. Oh goodness gracious. I got hit. If you're mad about me getting hit there, I hate you. That was... I had like a 30% a chance of getting out of that if I had realized what was happening from the very beginning of the room. 
Come on. Anyway. This is a comparably easy room. I was thinking for a second that I had taken the shortcut and was on the first or was on the second floor because of that grenade room. That's how hard that grenade room was. I thought I was on the second floor. And I was like, why is there such an easy room on the second floor? There's not. It's the first gosh darn floor. And also I'm now kind of being cornered by this dark knight. Hey, money. 44 money, maybe we'll be able to pick up some health again. That's all we'll be able to pick up because with the uh, amount of damage we've been taking, we're not likely to find any pickups on the ground. What's this? Lichy Trigger Finger. That sounds awesome. It's a new item I've never seen before. On the other hand, the Gun Knight Armor. Oh, I think my wallet needs a reload. Yeah, I can afford this, but I don't want it as much as I want the Gun Knight Armor. But we're going to keep exploring, try to get a little bit more money. I don't think we'll die. I'm going to play better, I promise. And I'm going to get the Armor Every Floor item. Or do I get Lichy Trigger Finger, which is a gun? Not only is it a gun that's probably better than what we have, but it's a gun I've never had before. Dodge rolling over slimes kills them. No one ever told me this. And it makes them much easier. I was always under this strange impression that you couldn't dodge roll over slimes. It's probably only the smallest ones that that works for. And that and any, other any other slime, if you dodge roll over it, you take damage. That's going to be my working hypothesis for now, especially because I am so low on health. That's awesome! Okay. I think slimes are going to be easier in the future. Not super easy. I'm still going to have t trouble with them, obviously, at least for a little while. Another couple hours of play. Another few encounters with them before I feel confident with them. But I think they're going to be a lot easier to deal with. And a blue chest is very welcome. What's this thing? The scrambler, bullet or the gun? Bullet or the gun? Let's read the description. Have I seen this before? I don't remember. Hot lead has joined the shootout because we bought it. The scrambler fires unhatched bullet eggs to each each close to hatching. Upon impact, a swarm of newborn bullets is released, hungry for their first meal. So it's uh, the same thing those birds shoot out is what I'm gathering from that. Awesome. I think that sounds incredibly cool. And some sort of shrine. Offer a gun at the altar, walk away. Offer a gun at the altar? Just in case it takes our active gun, I'm going to switch the shot off. Offer a gun at the altar. Okay, good. It did take our active gun. I'm glad I did that. I thought it might give us like an option. What did we get from that? I don't know. Did we just kick a candle into the water and it splashed? I want to see that. I'll... I probably won't re-watch my video just to see that. I'm sure I'll have more opportunities to encounter that in the future. I think we kicked a candle off the ledge. Whoa. Watch. Boom. It doesn't seem like it's quite as much as the uh, bird, like quite as many additional bullets as the bird would give you. But the bird being an enemy and it doesn't give you bullets, it puts bullets into you. Um, but they do target the enemy. And if you hit the enemy, at least they, they target an enemy if you hit one. What? Where did that even come from? Okay. Probably just my fault there. Yeah, dodge rolls can take out not one, but two slimes at a time. Okay, they do target enemies, regardless of if they end up hitting one with the egg. Yeah. Get out of here, ghost. Okay. Is this going to be our item room? My guess is yes. And I was right. Green chest. What do we got? Some sort of heart. Pink guan stone. Increased health. Nice. Increased health is always welcome. The pink guan stone is actually a white guan stone that has been used as a component in blood rituals, infusing it with the hearts of fallen engineers. Oh, there's no there's not more there's just a little bit of white space at the bottom there okie doke um it's gonna be distracting so it's not the best heart pickup because of that but it is a heart pickup and i can't complain now here's the thing 
Do we want to buy the Lichy Trigger Finger? Or do we want to hope we get 18 more money from the boss fight and buy the Gun Knight armor? I'm going to buy the Lichy tr Trigger Finger. I've never had it before and I think I've had Gun Knight armor. I know what it does at the very least because it does the same thing that any of the Gun Knight items do. Gun Knight Gauntlet, Gun Knight, I don't know, Glove. Um, is it Gauntlet a Glove? Did I just say the same thing twice with different words and one of them was wrong? Anyway. Yeah, I bought the Lichy Trigger Finger because it's, it's an item we've never had. It's it's not a gun? Maybe that's even better. The finger bone of an ancient lich who was skilled in the art of gunplay. Unfortunately, this finger bone is not the lich's phylactery. I don't know what that means. Rate of fire up. So that's not going to help us with this gun. That's a little bit of a waste. Rate of fire up, but our clip size is one with this thing. We're going to use it anyway. I think it's still going to be better for us than the alternative. Okay. He didn't get damaged at all. I did. I got damaged by my own Molotov because I didn't realize I was on fire. This is going to be yet another pretty bad outcome. I think. Maybe I maybe I will beat the Gatling Gull. Who knows? Not me. Nobody, really. Um, but at the very least, I don't need to aim. So I can focus more on dodging, which clearly I have not been doing. No more blanks. Kill him. Yes, I did it with half a heart remaining. <laughs> we got a little bit of health out of it. Achievement progress. Castle, Castle Crasher, 25 out of 50. Is that just for beating the first boss? Or beating bosses at all? I don't know, but we're halfway there. This episode has actually gone on for a pretty long time at this point. Um, so it's like slightly above our average duration. And I'm going to keep going to the second floor, of course. I'm going to keep, keep... Oh, no, 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 no. I had enough money to buy the Gun Knight armor. I didn't even think that was going to be a possibility. I could have gotten a free armor... Uh, another, a second one as I came down to the second floor. Not, not a free one. You know, I would have paid for it, but I would have gotten... I would have... I'd have three armor right now. If I hadn't been super stupid. And the stupidity continues with no dodging whatsoever. In a relatively easy room, to be honest. I'm extraordinarily disappointed in myself. And you should be disappointed in me too. Even more so now. I apologize. I'm not trying to lose. I'm really not. Oh my god. Okay. Well. That is all for now. There is, thank you for tuning in. There is no possible way you liked that video, but I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Subscribe if you want to see me do less bad in the future. Wow. I'll see you in the next episode if you didn't lose all faith in me. I, all that negativity was kind of a joke, if you couldn't tell. Like, yeah, that was bad, but I had fun, and I hope you did too. Have a good day. See you in the next episode.